Hi, I'm Rob Aldinger. I'm with Precision Pumping Systems. I'm the National Specification Manager here. Here we have a, a potable water booster pump station, which is a very common product at Precision Pumping Systems. This, however, is a good example of, of how we like to work with uh, engineers, architects, municipalities, etc., to customize systems to meet their needs. This particular project was a uh, design-build project that PPS was awarded, and once the, once the project was awarded, PPS was, was, was then collaborated with the engineers and the city to build the system that they needed, and this particular project is a system that has three vertical multi-stage pumps, 250 gallons a minute at 110 PSI boots. Uh, that's not uncommon, but what was uncommon with this situation is we had to make this particular pump station fit into an existing space. We had to meet hard points or pipes that are protruding from concrete already. The system had to fit into, uh, onto a concrete pad that currently exists. And then finally, and probably most complicated, is this particular system has to go down a flight of stairs to get into the space where it's going to be installed. Having said that, we had to work with them to design a system that once we have built it, tested it, et cetera, shipped it, it's going to then have to be dismantled and taken into the building, down the flight of stairs, and reassembled in order for it to work. So again, another a great example of how PPS will work with, uh, with uh, customers, designers, et cetera, to, to meet their particular needs. A couple of things I wanted to show you uh, in the control system here. So one of the things that was required on this project is that it had to meet the IEEE 519 harmonics uh, mitigation standards. Uh, PPS has a long background with that. We've been doing that for a long time. So in this particular panel, we integrated, uh, we integrated harmonics filtration um, as well as we also monitoring the power. So we have uh, current transformers in here monitoring the power usage so that the city can keep track of their power usage and use that data for whatever they may. We also designed this system, and this is not uncommon at PPS, to integrate directly with their SCADA system at the city. Um, we work with their SCADA integrators to, in order to ensure that our programming and their programming integrate seamlessly. We test that before the system is shipped. In this particular case, they wanted to use this particular Allen Bradley programmable logic controller. We're happy to do that. And then finally, one of the things I wanted to point out is that all PPS systems have on the, on, the panel, on the door panel, we have what we call a diagrammatical schematic with color-coded wiring paths, et cetera. The idea being that it is very easy for anybody to enter this panel and understand the wiring, et cetera, for repairs, troubleshooting, et cetera.